Hello, welcome back to your Where's the Boy. Now for you today, I have got a Quarcast 20 inch uh, self drive or self propelled lawnmower. Uh, it's, I had a phone call and uh, they said it, it won't pull, they think it's seized. Um, I've got it home. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet at the moment. Uh, I don't know what the mower is, uh, the model is it yet, but to me, looking at it, it has been tipped up on its side. I did ask them uh, on the phone and they said it hadn't. So to me, yeah. It could be something simple, it might not. So let's go and have a look at it and uh, see if we can fix it. All right, okay, so this is the one. Um, what it is, it is a Quarcast XSZ48A self drive. Um, it doesn't tell you what the year, I don't have to can make anything out of that fits the year, but what I'm saying is have a look at that tank. Um, you can tell where uh, it's got oil that underneath there as well, so it's leaking from under there as well. So it hasn't been serviced in a very, very long time. The woman can't remember. Let's just have a quick shuffle underneath. You can't really see a lot, but there's like a, a nest there, blinking grass. That's probably why it wasn't moving because the, the grass was probably all locked up, isn't it? But let's give it a go and see if it pulls over. Well, that's definitely ain't seized, is it? That, so I don't know what she was on about there. Um, I'm going to take the spark plug out, have a look at the spark plug, spray something in there, and see if she fires. If it does fire, then this could be a simple job of just uh, cleaning that carb, that carb out, tank out. By the looks of it, there could be loads of oil in it. Spark plug looks quite good as up on the outside. Well, there's definitely fuel coming through there. What I'm going to do first, though, is just put this spark plug out of the way. I want to see if there's any oil comes out of there. Right, by the looks of it, there is. A little bit come out of there, doesn't it? So we're spacing gunk in there. Let's put that plug back in and see if it starts. It's not seized. It seems like there must have been a lot of oil in, in the head there. Uh, and it's running. So the carburetor ain't as bad as what it is, but I will take it off, strip it down and give it a clean. Uh, it does need a whole full service on it. And it feels like it's vibrating a bit, so I need to have a look at the um, the blade as well. Well, it seems a warm day today, so I might just uh, do this in the garden today. Take this off should come off I hate these things they, they're so hard to get off you have to get a screwdriver in and All right, I'll take this off and come back what you got to do you're gonna have to take the recoil cover off to do it what I did do before I started on air again, um, I let the engine run for about 20 minutes because it was uh, smoking and there's a lot of oil came out. So I think I need to uh, take the exhaust off, check inside there as well. All right, let's take this filter off. I 
me, look at the state of that. It's probably got breathing problems. But, yeah, and we'll take this off now. I mean, look at the rubbish on there. See, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to clear all that off before I uh, take the actual tank off. Right, this engine's one of those newer um, classic engines where it's got the governor at the back. And this one really sh should have. Of course, that seems a bit hard, that. And why is that spring? Oh, it should have had a, a throttle cable connected to this one, uh, but there's nothing on it. And that could be another reason why it's not running correctly. Take this off, that's a 10 mil. And then you've got the fuel tank one, which is a 13 mil. Okay, let's take that off. Oh, first of all, we'll take this out, the spring out. Let's get it back on there again. break it I haven't really had a lot of these ones come on get out that's it and uh, hopefully that will come that's it that's that so that's the state of that tank look at that so we'll get it on the uh, the workbench and we'll, we'll give that a clean all right we'll take this off Looks like it needs a new diaphragm and gasket there. Uh, what I've noticed in the tank, I don't know if you can actually see it, that fuel is quite new, but inside it, there, there's loads of bits inside there as well, and it's quite dirty inside there. Yeah, it's, it, there's oil on there as well. So we'll keep this clean out after flush this tank out, and then we'll come back when it's all nice and clean. All right, so what I've done, I've put a new Give it a good clean up. I've put a new diaphragm and gasket on it. So let's see if this um, pumps all right. Yeah, yeah, that's squirting fine. That'll do. Right, so now we need to, um, I'm going to sort out the uh, exhaust, take that exhaust off and just make sure there's no oil actually coming out of the valves or anything like that. Right, the exhaust is off. Um, as you can see, there's loads of oil there, but there's nothing underneath here so it's not literally it's not seeping out from underneath this part of it there uh, so it must be coming out of the exhaust itself let's take this other bolt off and let's just tip that up see if anything comes out no there's nothing coming out of there at all so it must be just coming in it's either been tipped up from there and it's gone into the exhaust uh, we'll we give all this deck a good clean up uh, stick it all back together and before I do any more on the uh, underneath we'll make sure this engine's running fine well, I've just taken the air filter out I mean look at the state of that it's absolutely clogged it's pretty no it's no breathing getting through it so I had a it's, this all needs cleaning out as well but I had another one in the uh, workshop which is already done so I'll just stick this one on for now and I'll give this one a clean up another time Right, before I do any more on this really I need to check as if if this crank is is all right on this uh, because this blade has hit something so hard see on there it's got the groove which is round and this one's got like a half moon shape or half round shape really and it's not on the actual groove it's there's a gap in between so it's been lifted off of it um, and that's why I, I said I felt a vibration earlier maybe I should have done this first of all really um, yeah, so let's take this blade off and have a look. All right, so let's put this back on. Make sure this fits all right. Someone else has put this on, but they haven't done it. That's 
that's how it's meant to fit on here. All right, so what I'm going to do is here, just down here. Oops, stop shaking that. All right, so that there is near enough to the tip of that, and then we check the other side. Um, it does seem like it, it could be a little bit out. If it is, it's not a lot. It could be the blade that's actually bent itself. Um, but we'll see. I'll take the blade off again, give it a sharp and balance it out, and then we'll come back and uh, once it's done, we'll try it out. All right, what I have noticed actually is if you can see on this side, the boss is actually bent to the left slightly. Um, now, hopefully, I'll try and stick that in the vise and see if I can do anything with it. Try and bash it around a little bit just to see if I straighten anything up. All right, if I bring that blade round just to see where the tip is there at the bottom there, and then I'll try and keep the camera still as much as I can. I've got it in my hand on me on the bar at the moment. Um, it's just slightly going that one's slightly in, and then this one well, it ain't too bad so. We'll see what it's like when it's running. If it runs, uh, yeah, hopefully there won't be any vibration. Right, so it's all back together now. It's got a new spark plug. Uh, oil's been uh, changed. Uh, fuel's in it now. So let's take it outside and uh, we'll have a look. I didn't record um, putting it all back together. So uh, if you have a look at plenty of my other videos, there's plenty of times when I've, I've done this. So I didn't really need to film on this one. So let's go outside and see if it runs all right. That uh, Coolcast uh, XSZ 48A. Yes, uh, it was more than just a service. It needed quite a few things, uh, as you saw, uh, especially that blade uh, boss. I did ma manage to straighten up as much as I could. It's not vibrating uh, like I think it is. It has still got slight uh, misfire. Uh, I've taken the uh, plywall off and had a look at the key. Um, I changed the key on it, and that's still sit. That's all nothing wrong with that whatsoever but there's still a little bit of a mess for her. Um, I've changed the spark plug again just in case it was that um, but it is still doing it. Uh, I've checked the coil and there's nothing wrong with the coil that's all set as well as what it should be so I'm just going to leave it as it is it seems all right it's running uh, it's cutting I've just tried it on my garden so there you have it that's all there is on this one so if you enjoyed this one please don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel uh, hit the like button thumbs up for us please and uh, hit that grey notification bell and then you will be told when I'm doing another one next time so until next time cheerio